Hello everybody, this is Westside Luigi and this is my first ever video commentary and it's going to be a PvP warrior video. I'm just going to go ahead and queue up for the codex. Now before we go any further, I have to show you something that happened this morning. Alright, now hopefully you have recovered from that horrible trauma that you must have endured watching that. Um, I don't know what to say. Has that been happening to other people? If, leave a comment if that has happened to you, if you've seen this mysterious man. And I don't know, I just want, I want to know more about him. I want to talk to him. Maybe get to know him a bit better. And I, I don't know. Uh, okay, so PvP Warrior, this is my build. I've got Champion, Vindicator, and most of my points in Rift Blade. Rift Blade has some great PvP abilities. Um, Rift Walk, you plane shift right behind them, is great range and it roots them. You have so many roots with this build. Um, you got Fork right here. The, it, uh, the next Spear spell cast hits two targets, so you can tell that to be three. You click that, click Stone Spear, and you've got three spears heading toward your enemies each one is going to be rooted for five seconds if they're chasing a flag carrier like that flag carrier is going to get away you can pretty much solo a group of enemies and keep them slowed can't uh, guarantee you're going to survive but you can definitely slow them all down you've got stone spear you also got bull rush which i talented to also root them so let's see i i do my stone spear triple stone spear I bull rush at one of them and then I rift walk at one of them. That's five roots all going down in very quick time. Alright, the queue has popped and it is time to. Alright, so for those of you who aren't familiar with this warfront, I'm going to bring up the map here. There's four control points. It's uh, similar to. Oh, fuck the name. Arathi Basin in uh, World of Warcraft. There's the Codex. Statue of Thontic, the Vault, Translation Scope. Uh, I'm playing on the Defiant side, so the first thing we're going to do is cap the scope, and if we're smart, move on to the Codex. And the reason why that would be is because the Codex gives five points per tick, every other point gives three. Ideally, you will cap the one that's closest to you, either the Statue or the Scope, and then move right onto the Codex and cap that, and if you defend those the whole game, you've got to win, because you've got more points coming in, you've got eight, they've got six. And if you really want to steamroll them, you can go down and maybe cap the vault or the statue. But that's getting a little bit ahead of yourself. And if you just take the codex and the one that's close to you, there's a voice crack back there, uh, you're good to go. I'm going to buff myself. Uh, Avatar of Water, Stormblade, and Soldier's Baron. Mount up and begins in 7, 6, 5. I'm going to spare you the countdown. Look at that guy's guild. Communism. It's a good one. So, I don't know, I, as I PvP, if I'm not in immediate danger, I always pull out my map to see what everyone else is doing. And it looks like someone's headed toward the scope. We got one tardy on the left going off to the vault, probably, to get killed by himself. Oh, nothing you can do about that. So as you see, the Guardians get their statue, we get our scope, and hopefully we'll get the Codex, and there's usually, this is the biggest part of the battle. Now watch this Rift Walk, he's up on the cliff, uh, out of line of sight. Usually I can hop right up there, really scare the shit out of them, there we go. And he jumped off though. Now aside from all the slows and whatnot with a, a Rift Blade, there's really not so much to the rotation, it's just... You do your ice to make, ah, I forget what it's fucking called, frost strike. Oh, talking and not playing. Well, you go, f you go frost strike, and that is a cooldown. You hit searing strike until you have three points, and you pop fiery burst. Keep doing that until they're dead. Um, 
Also, of course, you got your slow is freeze armor, interrupts. This is some AoE stuff right here. Thunder strike and mark. Oh no, that's not fucking AoE. You've got a pushback. Uh, it's called thunderous kick. And always got to be mindful of your two spears. Two at the moment. I'm sure I'm gonna unlock some more as I level up. The flame spear is just a simple damage. But the real money maker here is Stone Spear. I mean, that baby is going to root three people if you use Fork first. Uh, this is an interest. You don't see this a lot. Uh, we've got we've got their statue. We've got the vault. We're losing it at the moment. We had it. We got the scope, and the codex is still unclaimed. It's actually not so frequent. Forgetting the word, it's not very often that we see that kind of thing. So I'm going to try to the fuck out of this. Rift walk behind that guy and slow him. The great thing about this bull rush and your rift walk is it breaks you out of any roots that you're in. It's always a great thing. And of course, I guess I didn't talk much about this before, but the, my PvP soul gives me break free, which is pretty self-explanatory. It breaks free from any control effects on me. Be that mind control if there is such a thing in this game. Be it fear or roots. I'm just hacking these guys to bits. And I also should mention, I am level 33 and these war fronts are divided into levels of 10. Oh Jesus Christ, it's the fucking phone. Well, fuck. Well, who is it? Unknown name? Guess what? I'm not, I'm not answering. So, that's, just, that's too, really too bad. So, we've got the codex. Like, at this point, this is typically what it, what it will boil down to. We've got the codex, and we've got our scope. And the advantage of being at the codex is I have this cliff. Enemies cannot run up this cliff unless they do some crazy, like, riff walk. But in the mo for the most part, they're not coming up this cliff. They have to go all the way around. But if I want to go defend the scope, it's a quick jump and a little bit of a jog, and I'm there. So ideally you want to have most people defending at the codex. If you see an ink to the scope, oh, call it out, there it is. And someone already called that out for me, but we lost that. Oh, man, I need to pay more attention. Oh, that's not looking good. Big group of enemies. Let's see what we can do here. And like got a bunch of guys focusing me this isn't gonna go well not getting a lot of heals 